In this scenario, we are looking at a warehouse protected with a VXR dry system that is operated due to a fire that has been extinguished. The area is safe to enter. First, the system water supply must be shut off. While this isn't required, we're going to silence the panel. Press the silence button on the VFR 500 release control panel. Now, begin draining the system by opening the main drain. Once pressure is released, the EA-1 will send a signal to the VFR 500, reactivating the buzzer. This isn't required, but we are going to silence the panel once again. Press the silence button on the VFR 500 release control panel. Next, shut off the air supply to the system by closing the quarter inch isolation valve before the air pressure maintenance device and verify there is no pressure showing on the air supply pressure gauge. Ensure that the system is drained prior to replacing any sprinklers that have operated or may have been exposed to excessive heat in the fire. Next, press the push rod on the VXR valve upwards to allow the clapper to drop down and seal against the seat. Then, pull the push rod down to ensure it is fully retracted. Before re-establishing system air pressure, we need to close the upstream accelerator isolation ball valve so that the system pressure can build. Close the ball valve upstream of the accelerator. Next, re-establish the system air pressure within 5 psi of the set pressure by opening the air bypass valve. Once pressure has been re-established, close the air bypass valve. Place the air maintenance device back in service by opening the quarter inch and isolation valve that was shut earlier. Next, reset the VFR 500, taking power away from the electric solenoid, restoring it to its normally closed state. Press the reset button on the VFR 500. Since the main water control valve is still closed, the buzzer will reactivate. We can now reopen the accelerator isolation ball valve. Partially open the water supply valve and allow water to enter the inlet of the valve. Now, close the main drain. Water supply pressure will show on the water supply pressure gauge. Fully open the water supply control valve. After the system water pressure is restored, any alarm panels that were activated will need to be reset to clear any active alarms. Congratulations, the system has been restored and the reset is complete.